What's up? Jason Young, LBN, OnlineFitness.com, Improvement Warrior Fitness. Back um, in, well, I'm traveling in Orlando for the next six days, and I thought I would just make a video vlog sharing my meals with you. So, first meal I'm having is three egg yolks, one egg, and about three or four tablespoons of butter, and I had about six Brazil nuts and 12 walnuts while this was cooking up. So, that's it. This is my last meal of the night. It is 9.30, and I'll have breakfast tomorrow, and I'll share that with you. Stay strong. All right, meal number two, and breakfast on Tuesday is going to be two eggs, two egg yolks, cooked in three tablespoons of red palm oil, and two pancakes. Uh, the oil was way more than I expected, so I'm trying to sop it up here with the pancakes, but not doing a good job, so I'm going to have to use the rest of the oil for a post-workout shake. This is my pre-workout meal, or, yeah, pre-workout meal, and then post-workout meal. So I'll probably work out around 1, it's 9.42 now. Alright, post-workout is done, it's now 2.43. I know I said I was going to do it one, but another marvelous benefit of keto, you're not slave to eating schedule. So, got busy, got things to do. So I'm drinking that shake, uh, isobean shake, berry, vegan, protein, and I uh, got the rest of the red palm oil in here as extra fat, and I'm going to have just a couple scrapes, so probably half a bar of my keto paleo bar. And that's meal number two on Tuesday. So meal number three for the day, two eggs and some spinach. Stop at GFS, picks up some spinach, some more eggs, and some butter. And time is like four times it. Time is four thirty-four. This will be my last meal until like 10, 30, 11 tonight. So, that's meal number three, Tuesday. So I really picked up the spinach so I can sop up that red palm oil uh, and not have it so so much left in the pan. All right, meal four on Tuesday. It's 11.10. Uh, so, <laughs> got a pancake, <laughs> some spinach cooked in uh, one and a half tablespoons red palm oil, and then a quarter cup of Brazil nuts and walnuts. So, that's it for the night. Breakfast will be tomorrow. And good night. Stay strong, eat healthy. Alright, so breakfast, it is 7.21. Next morning, breakfast is four eggs, one egg yolk, and some spinach cooked in five tablespoons of the red palm oil. So, this will get me going. Alright, meal number two, lunch. It is 108. I've got a couple squares, 100% chocolate bar, and my keto protein bars. And that is it. In front of the Florida Mall. All good stuff. Alright. Meal number four on Wednesday, two eggs, cooked in four tablespoons of butter, and I'll have some spinach to sop up the butter. I had meal three around 6.45. I was eating with the group from the conference, so didn't shoot the video. I had three, three pancakes with three tablespoons of butter on that. So, I'll see you Thursday for breakfast. Alright, it's Thursday morning, 7.40, and I've got four eggs and spinach with four tablespoons red palm oil. So, happy keto eating, baby. Meal number four, Thursday. Um, eight ounce water, four tablespoons butter, two tablespoons unsweetened Hershey cocoa, 100% cacao, and one scoop ice uh, 
whey protein, grass-fed whey protein. Had meal number two and three at the mall, Florida Mall again. Uh, meal number two was the same thing as yesterday, five protein squares. And meal number three, and that was at uh, like one, and then meal number three was at probably 7.40. Okay, and this time I had four pancakes with four tablespoons of butter. So, that is my day, and this, oops, shoot, this is my post-workout shake. It's 12.20, it's 12.30, so, this seminar, 9 to 11, cramming it in, new peaks, check it out, go to the Millionaire Mind Experience, you will not regret it. Hey, good morning. 7.51 a.m. Friday morning. It is time for breakfast. So, today I'm eating three eggs, two egg yolks with five tablespoons red palm oil, and we have a quarter mixed Brazil nuts and walnuts. And that's breakfast. All right, meal number three. It is 7.33, having four more pancakes, four tablespoons butter. Had meal number two, again, five protein bars. Uh, didn't have any chocolate with it. Uh, that was about 1.40. So, that's it. Okay, so final meal of Friday night is 11.34. We have two eggs, two egg yolks, spinach cooked in three tablespoons, palm oil, and we're going to have the rest of these crumbs from my protein bars. Alright, breakfast Saturday, five tablespoons butter, one and a half scoops isopro. Forgot to add it's eight. 10 a.m. on Saturday, and I added two tablespoons of the Hershey's unsweetened cocoa. Hey! What's up, Jason Yan? I know I haven't done an update in a while on my keto trek. So I think the last one was Saturday's breakfast. And what I had for lunch, around 1.30, was three of my protein squares. Then... Uh, around 11, I had two more protein squares, and then around 5, 5.30, Sunday morning, I had three pancakes with probably five tablespoons of butter. And then the next meal on Sunday wasn't until... I think one, and I had probably a cup, maybe a cup and a quarter of the nuts, Brazil nuts and walnuts, and then around six I had a the Isogenix Berry Shake, and now I'm back home, it is 9.55 Sunday night, I am eating two eggs and one strip of bacon. So, missed my salt. I got my pink Himalayan salt. That's the one thing I did forget. Oh, I'm also going to have these cauliflower squares, cheesy cauliflower squares. I have a recipe video I'll hook it up to you so you can watch that. But, yeah, that's basically my entire week. Keto, eating healthy, all that good stuff. So there's no excuse when you go on the road, make your food, you can eat out healthily, and I'll make some videos on that coming up, but this one is all about taking your food and keeping it and eating it and staying in ketosis while you are on the road. So it's a beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Control those blood sugars, burn that body fat, all that good stuff. So I will see you next time hey sorry to interrupt the video I made that video that travel vlog back in 2015 so it had been less than a year 
on keto. It is now May 16, 2017, and it's almost been three years. It'll be three years in July. I wanted to interrupt the video and let you know that I don't eat nearly that many much food. So I'm, I have a lot of videos that I have not put up, and this was one of them. But four meals a day is very, very rare for me. And you can see the quality of my Mac compared to my flip cam. <laughs> so sorry about the quality. But typically now, I only eat like, on average, I would say it's two meals. Sometimes it's one. Sometimes it's three. I would say three is usually Friday and Saturday. So on the weekends, I tend to eat a little bit more because I'm with my family a little more often on the weekends. But typically, it's just two and sometimes I'll just do one and that's the thing you have to realize with keto and going low carb high fat you are going to be able to control your hunger the longer you're able to go in between meals as long as you are in a fat adapted state then you're just going to be running off of your body fat stores and the quality of the food that kind of made me barf a little was that was just regular traditional butter it wasn't the grass-fed kind it wasn't the the pasture raised eggs and all that stuff so um, now I go for that every single time but the thing is if you are just starting this journey and you cannot afford that stuff just realize that you can get the results and start having massive amounts of energy just eating the traditional food so the farm-raised eggs, or not the farm-raised eggs, the traditional eggs, the yellow, pale yellow eggs, and not the, the pasture-raised and all that stuff. But you can't, because it is getting rid of the carbohydrates that is going to affect you the most. And I don't want this video to go too long. It probably already is too long, but yeah, just realize that you need less protein you when you are consuming a lot of fat and the protein that I was eating in that in those uh, travel vlogs was a lot higher than I actually eat now so typically it's between 50 and 90 grams of protein and usually one or two days I'll go way above that because I'm just trying to do stuff but if you want to follow me on my fitness pal you can see exactly what I'm eating all the improvement warrior diet which is more which is a combination of ketogenic, low-carb, high-fat, nutritional cleansing, paleo, primal, all that stuff, and everything that I've learned. So you can follow me there, and I will have that book out, hopefully, very, very soon after this video comes out. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Back to the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share this video. Any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to check out the 47-day ketogenic diet challenge. Start your keto challenge today. Otherwise, stay strong, stay positive. Be the improvement warrior. See you next time. Lucy is excited to see her technique. Yeah!